Hi guys, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to finally have the computer solve a maze as an application of our pathfinding algorithm. So this is a simple maze I drew up, and here's the start where this S is, and the finish is over here where this F is. And what we need to do is fill up this maze with a graph and use our pathfinding algorithm. OK, so I'm going to create a whole bunch of vertices over here. And we're going to stick one at the start, and one at the finish. And we're going to put one everywhere that a decision could be made. So, for example, right here, I can decide I'm going to go up or I'm going to go down. And so we need a vertex there so that we can make this an option. Here we go. Um, so I can go down, or I can go up. And we're also going to need a vertex at every dead end, so um, here's a place that I could go. Unfortunately, we're also going to need a vertex at each of these corners. So you could actually just make an edge that bends around this corner and connects to this one vertex. But the way that I programmed the software, all the edges are in straight lines. So if I stick a vertex in the corner, it's going to cut through the walls. And to get around that, I'm just going to stick a vertex uh, at the corner so that it can be bent around. Okay, so then we have to go along and fill out the entire maze. Um, here I could go up, or I could go down, so I need a vertex. Here I'm going to have to go around the corner. Oops, that's the one on the finish. I'll leave that there. Here I may go up or down. Different vertices here where I make the decision. And here I come to this kind of big area. I'm just going to leave one vertex here to represent this whole large area. Uh, in a future application, we're going to see that that's, there's actually times whenever vertices will represent large areas. And I think that one's going to be pretty interesting, actually. Um, it looks like I'm about four or three vertices short. We're going to create this maze, so I'm going to have to create three more vertices. Okay, so in the last video, we looked at a pathfinding algorithm. And now we've got the entire maze here. So uh, let's use that same pathfinding algorithm. Here's our start, here's our finish. And remember what it does is it looks everywhere from the start and tries to get to the finish. So if I take one step, it goes here and there's nowhere else to go. Uh, and I did not find the finish. So it's going to start from 1 and then see if it can find the finish from there. It looked this way and saw 2. And then it looked this way and saw 3. But it didn't find the finish, so it's going to keep going. Now let me go ahead and click Animate. Uh, we'll watch you go ahead and explore the graph. So the computer now is trying to find its way through the maze. And boom, there it goes. So it finds the finish. And here's the way it finds the route through the maze. It starts here, and then goes up, and around this corner, and down, and around this way. And Bob's your uncle. OK. So as we showed last time, this can actually go really fast. Uh, it doesn't have to go so slow, but I think it's kind of fun to watch it solve the maze. But uh, clicking here quick, um, we can see here's the answer. So that's pretty cool. A computer can solve a maze. We can strip the entire maze away. So a maze is really just a graph. It's just viewed in a different way. And it's funny how whenever we see it spatially this way, it's hard for us to see the answer. Or maybe this one isn't so hard, but some mazes are much harder to find an answer through. However, let's erase that structure. We still have the entire maze here. And this was the start, so I'm going to put that up in the top left. And here's the finish, so I'll stick that in the bottom right. And let's just restructure this a little bit. So it's the exact same decisions that I can make from the maze 
but now we're viewing it in a little bit different way. Uh, maybe I'll stick this one here. Uh, let's put it like that, okay. That way we don't get anything overlapping. And notice that it's the exact same decisions. Uh, whenever I take the first step, I can either go up or down, at least that's what that used to be, and then I can go down and around a corner, or I can go up and then to the right or up again and around a corner. But uh, we've just laid out the structure differently. so. Uh, this is really the graph that we're looking at. And now look how easy this is to solve. Um, if I just restructure it, here's the start, here's the finish. Well, there's the answer. I just go along that way. However, of course, it wasn't so easy whenever it was in a different structure. It's funny how brains think differently than computers. And the way that our brain sees this is some overall geometric structure in the maze. And just because it's laid out in a funny structure, it complicates things to us. And if we just change the geometric structure to be something like this, it's very easy. Whereas the computer doesn't care one way or another. And to us, whenever it sees this, it looks like it's almost overcomplicating the answer. So when I animate, it's searching all over the place in kind of a crazy way. It's going up these routes that we can see here. Obviously, that's not going to get you to the finish. But that's just because computers think differently than humans at least right now. We're going to talk about some artificial intelligence in some of the future videos. Um, I hope that there'll be some sort of discussion, because I find these things interesting to talk about. Alright, so next time, I think what we're going to do is make this maze program a bit more sophisticated.